know that you cannot generalize, right? Asia is not one country. It's not like Africa, you know? It's all different countries combined. By the way, that was ironic. No, no, just to know that, okay, all right? And no, I no, just, just to understand the level of the people here, okay? So it's, there's not one generation. You're not all the same people, right? So in Asia, it's the same, different people. But if you travel around, like I did, to all these different cities, you do get some insights. Insights that everybody has, right? And for this afternoon, I just want to share three insights with you. That's it. That are there, happening there, and happening here as well, with our generation. Huh? The first is a little bit different. The first is called generational conflict. It's something that we don't really have, right? A conflict with our parents. Mm, our parents want to be our friends, which is also sometimes a cause of conflict, but okay, you know, there it's a big thing. Look, the generation of my parents, our parents, in Asia is raised by two things. First of all, very traditional moral standards. You know, do like they did 100 years ago when it comes to love, life, looking at life, you know, very traditional. At the same time, money, making money. The whole idea was 40 years ago, economy in Korea or China or Japan, whatever, was not that great. And then suddenly, woof, it went up. So all the people who were young started to work, earning money, could buy their own apartment, their own houses, and they were like, wow, this is life. Finally, we mean something. So they tell their children, you, they tell them, okay, you have to do two things to be happy. First, be very traditional, keep to the traditional values. Second, make a lot of money. Work, 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 like Rihanna would say, and stay on track, you know, that's it. But the young generation goes like, first of all, Traditional values, really, you know? We have internet, even in China, when they don't have internet, they do have internet, you know? They can find ways to see everything. So they say like, no, 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 we need equal rights. They are way more, actually the young generation in China, for example, is way more pro-gay than ever before. They're like, we need more equal rights, we need more liberal ideas. Second of all, money, really, money is the answer. The economy is not going that well anymore, like in, in Japan. <laughs> You know, in Korea, stable, but not that well. In China, it goes less and less and less progressive. They'll say, the future is not money and working. The future should be something different, but we don't know what yet. But their parents tell them, no, you have to do it the way we say it, or mm, shame. Okay. Family is more important than your own career. Family is more important than you yourself. Right? If, if I put it in an in a, in a overview, it's like this. Right? The, in... Um, can I get this schema? Yeah, like this. So family first, then the community, then the individual. This is Asia, right? Family is the most important thing. You do everything for your parents or your family. Then you make sure you bring no shame to the community. And then you think about your own wishes. We don't have that in Europe, right? I mean, we freed ourselves in the 17th century. The individual is the most important thing. And then the rest. You can put it like this. This is Europe, right? I am the center of my life, it's all about me, then you have the community and then the family or family and community, it depends where you live, right? It depends also about your family, but you are the most important thing. We, we evolved from this, we used to have this, we said it doesn't work, we go now to this. Huh? They are lacking behind, you could say, you could. Actually we are both fucked, right? In, bo no, no, in both systems it doesn't work at all. Did you know that? What is the first, do you know that? The first death, cause of death under 40? Suicide, yeah, yeah. In the Western world it is. Belgium, where I'm from, Belgium, Korea and Japan are in the top five of most suicidal countries for young people. Or, or for years, you know, we've all, yeah, top five, for years. Both, so that's the Western country and Eastern countries, Holland, Never used to be in the top 20, never, until two years ago. Now, congratulations, you're also in the top 20 of most suicides amongst young people. Why? Yeah, congratulations. You're going to be next probably, but yeah. <laughs> it's okay. You need the attention. It's okay. No, no, I'm going to tell, tell you why. Here, the individual has a feeling my fam if I don't do well for my family, if I don't do well for the community, you know, I fail. 
The family, the family asks me to do things. They, they expect me to do things. If I don't do them, I'm not a good person. I failed. Here it is that we miss the connection with community and family. We have to do it ourselves. Right? We need the attention. We need to feel that we are seen by people. We need to feel that we do good. Because if we fail in this system, in our system, it's our own responsibility. They told us, they told our generation, you can be whoever you want to be. If you work hard, you can be the best you can be. Right? So if we fail, it's our own problem. Because we got all the possibilities. You know, we got some money from parents. We got some support. We can do everything we want. So if we fail, it's our own problem. This is the problem. In both systems, you have a lot of young people that have the feeling, I fail. I don't do well. I'm not good enough. And they quit, which is terrible. They quit on life. They say, I stop because I'm a failure. I'm not good enough. Our generation has to find a third option. This doesn't work, this doesn't work, but we have to find a new way how to feel that we are connected to each other. If we don't do that, we're going to lose so many young people. Our generation, the people here sitting in this room, you know, except for your teachers, but our generation, we are the generation that's going to make the new human, the next step of humanity. You had the Neanderthalers, they were overclassed by the Homo sapiens. Now we, Homo sapiens sapiens, are going to go to the next level. The Homo continuum or Homo artificialis or something Latin, otherwise Europeans don't like it, you know? So, so the next step, we're going to do this. How cool is that, Lucas? <laughs> ne? Because I was like, nah, uh, uh, uh. I like humans, you know? I mean, we don't function, but that's the great thing about humans. Nobody functions, you know? So we're all just a bunch of losers together trying to figure things out. What happens if some people, you know, are more advanced than other people? Like you have this cyborgs walking or people with huge memories and, and extra muscles. And then you have this normal person from Europe. And, and then I was like, and I was freaking out. And then Jews said, Lucas, you cannot stop it. Everything I told you is going to happen, whether we do it or we don't do it. That's the whole thing with technology. The DNA editing will happen, the AI will happen, it will all happen. The question is, how are we going to deal with it? What are we going to say, this is important, this not? We cannot do this, this is a limit or not? That is the most important thing for our generation. It's not discussing, do we want technology? It's how are we going to deal with it? And now we don't have conversations about it. It's not happening. We are talking about ourselves and terrorists and a little bit climate change, and that's it. But the bigger problem is how are we going to deal with everything that's going to happen. Can I ask you with the, 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 the striped shirt? Yes. Do you have a boy or girlfriend? Yeah, boy or girlfriend? Boy? Um, just, just a question. Um, if you're not there, is he allowed to masturbate or not? Yeah? Yeah, eh? yeah. Okay. What if, what if he doesn't masturbate, but he has this... A girlfriend on, on his phone that is that is a it's, it's a cartoon character but but she talks to him with AI so he can talk with her how he loves her and she loves him back but it's all fictional is that okay or not weird but, weird, but okay okay different folks different folks, so if he likes it he can do it great love you already okay so what if instead of the fictional girlfriend he has this sex doll when you're not around when you're not around he just uses the sex doll is that okay you use a vibrator, he uses a sex doll, it's the same. Weird, but he can do it. Okay, but the great thing is, what if the sex doll has your face? No? No, 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 you can do that now. You can make already a sex doll with your face. But what, but, but, but wait, 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 wait. What if you can upload your voice to the doll so that when he has sex with you, the doll can talk the way you do to him? That's too far? And what if it's not like a person, but more like a child version of it? No, also, also not too much. Or like the 65 plus year old version. I mean, they, they, I mean, no, no. I'm saying this. This is Jew talking and not Lucas. Eh? I'm saying this because it's already possible. It's already possible that you make a sex doll that is completely human-like and that you can upload AI to the sex doll so the sex doll can talk the way, for example, your girlfriend talks. So actually, the weird thing is, you could come home and get your, and your boy is having sex with you, but you're or watching while he is having sex with you, but in a doll version. 
How cool would that be? You don't have to do the whole effort anymore, but you can. It's happening. It's ha I mean, it's possible. I mean, some, I see some guys going like, all right. <laughs> the threesome will happen. Look, it's, it's already now. I have a question for this row. Uh, the guy who is his hand like this and the, uh, yes. Hi. Question, do you want to have children? Eh? Not really? Okay, very cool. Who else does not want to have children? You see, many people. This is a big problem in Asia. A lot of young people don't want to have children. The government is pushing them to make children. I met a few girls who said, if the government wants children, make them their own. Eh? Okay, just, just work with me. If you would have children, right? Just say, condom broke and you have a child, right? You have to take care of it. So you have a child. And you knew that the child was going to have cancer because it's, it's in the genes, but they can cut it out. Would you cut it out? So when it's still a baby, they know it's going to have cancer, but if we change the DNA, it's not going to have cancer. You would do it, of course, right. What? It's a logic way. Yeah, yeah I'm, just, I'm just asking, right? And if you at the same time could change the color of the eyes, would you do it? Color of the hair? More muscles? Make it smarter? Look, if you don't do it, your child will be the only one sitting there wrong amongst all the other very smart, muscle, blue-eyed children, and it will be like the weak because daddy didn't want to do it, you know? I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. This, this thing is going to happen within now and 20 years. We're going to have these questions. Because already they can do so much. In the next few years, you can do more, right? The problem is, it's so expensive that the only people who can do this are the people who are already at the top of the food chain. Look, guys, this is something I realized in Asia, that if we don't watch out, if we don't have this discussion, you will have a, div a division between, now we have rich and poor. Rich means you have more, poor you have less. There will be new division means you are more and you are less. 